Kuzu Zambo, welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Rigzin Ponsu. This lesson is mathematics for classes 7 and 8, key stage 3. Our today's topic of lesson is positive and negative exponents. Okay, before I explain what is positive exponent and negative exponent, firstly, let me explain what is exponent. What is exponent? Sometimes we come across a situation where we have to multiply same number again and again. For an instance, 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now when you have to multiply same number again, again and again, we get bored at times. Now that's where exponents come in. Instead of multiplying again and again, it can be written as a 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4. What does it mean by this 2, 3, 4? It means you're multiplying 2, 2 times. You're multiplying 2, 3 times. You're multiplying 2, 4 times. Now, if I explain this one separately, okay, let me choose this one as an example. 2 power 4. This 4 is called as a exponent. And this 2 is called as a base. And together, it is called as a power, or power numbers. That's it about the exponent. OK, now let's go to this positive and the negative exponent. Now firstly, positive exponent. Okay, this time, Instead of you writing now, instead of 2, I'm going to use 10, base as a 10. 10 raised to 3, exponent 3, base 10. Now, when you look at the exponent, you don't see any integer sign, right? Okay. So if you do not see any integer sign, you have to understand that it is a positive. Actually, we have learned in class 6 and 5. If you do not see any integer sign, you have to understand that it is a positive. So which means this is a positive exponent. And if I write this one in the form of standard form, as you all know that 10 raised to 3, it means you're multiplying 10 itself 3 times. 10 times 10, 100, 100 times 10, Thousand. You are getting thousand, and it is a positive exponent. Now let's go to negative exponents. Okay, now in case of negative exponent, let's go to this table. Let's study this table in order to understand the negative exponent. Now firstly, let's look at these numbers. 
exponents. Now here, 10 raised to 4, 10 raised to 3, 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to negative 1, similar to negative 2, negative 3. These are the exponent, these are the power numbers. And if you look at the exponents here, from here to here, it's a positive exponents. Whereas from here, if you look at the exponents, you see a negative sign, right? Okay. So these are negative exponents. Now, let's study the values. Let's look at the values. 10 power 4, you know that you're multiplying 10 four times. And when you multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, when you do four times, you're getting 10,000. Similarly, 10 raised to 3, 1,000, 100, 10, you're multiplying only one times, 10, okay. Now, after this 10 power, 0, you're getting 1, 10 raised to negative 1, you're getting 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. When you move towards negative exponent, you're getting the decimal number. And you must be wondering why you're getting the decimal number. Now, let's study the, let's compare the values carefully. When you look at the number, when you look at the number values, when it moves towards the right, if you look carefully, observe carefully, it is getting divided by 10. Now see, 10,000 in here, 1,000. When you move towards the right, you are getting divided by 10. So 10,000 divided by 10, 1,000. 1,000 divided by 10, 100. 100 divided by 10, 10. 10 divided by, okay. Now you know that, okay, let me explain this one. The value is 10, 10 by 1, 10. Now after this one, 0. Now when you move, after this 10 power 1, okay, when you move towards the right, I told you that it is getting divided by 10. When you divide by 10, you know 10 divided by 10, you're getting 1, right? Okay. That is where you're getting the value 1. Now, let me remind you, not only in the base 10s, any number with a base 10 power 0 is always 1. Now, when you move towards this side in the negative exponents, you're multiplying by getting, getting divided by 10. And see, you're getting 0 0.1. When you divide by 10, again further, 10, you'll be getting 0 0.01. And this is how you are getting the values here. And I've clearly given here the place values. Okay, 10,000, 1,000, 100, 10, once. You see here this small point. After the, decimal, after the decimal point, tenth, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, that's how it will go on. Okay, now that's the end of the positive exponent and the negative exponent. Now, since you have understood, you must have understood what is positive exponent and negative exponent. Let's do an exercise on the board on positive and the negative exponent. And Alex. I'll begin with the positive exponent. Three times turn raised to one plus 2 times 10 raised to 3. Now, if you look here, 3 times 10 raised to 1 is a 10, plus 2 times 10 raised to 3. You are getting, it is getting multiplied by 10 3 times, so which means 1,000. And you know 
that the order of operation, based on the order of operation rules, firstly, we have to multiply. Multiplication comes first. 3 times 10 is 30, plus 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. And when you add it, you will be getting 2,030. This is how we solve the positive exponents. Very easy. Now, I will solve one negative exponent as an example. Okay, let me explain one example for negative exponents. Okay, 1 times 10 raised to negative 1, 4 times 10 raised to negative 2, 7 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay, look carefully. 1 times 10 negative 4, negative 1. If you look at the table there, You know, it's a 0 0.1 plus 4 times 0 0.01 plus 7 times 0 0.0001. Now, same like we'll follow the order of operation rule. First one, you have to first do the multiplication. And this time, the difference is you are multiplying whole number and the decimal number. Everything is same when you multiply the whole number and decimal number, but you have to be careful where to put the decimal points. You are multiplying this 1 times 10th. So 1 tenth is 10th, so which means 1 plus 4 times 100 is 400th. So which means 0 0.04. Plus, when you multiply this one, you'll be getting 0 0.0007. Now, let's add this decimal points. Zero point one, zero point zero. Four, zero point zero 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 seven, and you have learned that when you add the decimal number, the decimals has to be in the straight line. Then only your answer will be correct. Seven zero, nothing is there. Okay, four times four plus zero is four one. So when you add this decimal number, you are getting 0 0.1407. And this is how we solve the negative exponents. And this is the end of my explanation. And I'll give you one tux for negative and the positive exponent. Three times ten to the power four. This is for positive exponents. Four times ten raised to negative one plus six times ten raised to negative three plus. 4 times 10 raised to negative 2. So you can try this two question at home. And I'm sure that you must have understood what I was trying to explain here. And please do it sincerely.
With this, my lesson comes to an end. And thank you for attending my lesson. And I'll see you in my next lesson. Thank you.